Welcome back to another episode of Turn Up the Heat. Today we're making some spicy pickled eggs using some of this Tapatio hot sauce. So our ingredients that we're going to need for this are we're going to need some vinegar. I'm going to use two dozen large eggs. I'm going to use some Tapatio hot sauce. A bit of lime juice. You guys can use fresh limes if you want, but I already had this in my fridge, so I'm going to use it. We're going to use a couple of jalapenos. We need some garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pickling spice, and a large jar to put everything in. Add your eggs to a large pot and fill it with enough water to cover your eggs. Then we're gonna go ahead and turn this on to high heat. And we're just gonna leave this here and wait till it boils. And once it starts to boil, we're gonna turn it off and let our eggs sit for another 10 to 15 minutes to finish cooking. Now while we're waiting on our eggs to boil, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our vinegar mixture. So first I'm going to take these jalapenos and I'm just going to cut them up, uh, make sure to remove the stems. And so we're just going to cut them up into little uh, circular slivers here, nothing fancy. And then we're going to add those to the bowl. All right, then we're gonna go take our garlic. I'm gonna use four cloves of garlic. You can use more or less depending on how garlicky you want your uh, eggs to be. And we're just gonna take our knife right here and we're gonna smash them. Now you don't have to really worry about cutting them up, just smash them a little bit and that'll help get the juices flowing. There we go. Just like that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add some vinegar. So we're gonna add two cups of vinegar to our mix. There's one. And there's two. Now we're also gonna go ahead and add two cups of water just to dilute that vinegar a little bit. We don't want it super crazy acidic. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and add half a cup of lime juice. Let's see, we'll take off the top so it's a little faster. There we go. All right, so that's about half a cup right there. Now we're going to go ahead and add half a cup of your top tio hot sauce. Um, if you don't like tapatio or if you want to use something else, you can totally do that as well. So we'll shake out about half a cup here. There we go. Perfect. Alright, next what we're going to do is we're going to use some salt. So we're going to add um, about a tablespoon of salt. Um, maybe half a tablespoon. Yeah, we're going to do half a tablespoon of salt right there. Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of our pickling spice. There's one, and there's two. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix this all together. Awesome, don't worry about getting it super crazy mixed. It'll get, um, everything will kind of soak in as it uh, marinates. After your eggs are done cooking, go ahead and pour out all that hot water and fill it with some nice fresh cold water. There we go. Now leave these eggs to sit in this cold water for about 20 to 30 minutes and this will kind of stop their cooking process. Now that our eggs are done cooling, we're gonna go ahead and peel them and put them into our jar. So go ahead and peel your eggs. Make sure to rinse them off as well. Get any uh, remaining eggshell off of them. Now that all of our eggs are all in our container and all peeled, we're gonna go ahead and give our pickling brine. Uh, we're gonna give it one more last good stir. And now we're gonna go ahead and try to put it in the jar without spilling it all over. There we go. It's working pretty good. I'm gonna push out some of these guys. Uh, make sure to get all of those uh, things of garlic and your jalapenos and all of your other good stuff that's in there. 
Perfect. All right, now we're gonna close this guy up and then go ahead and put this bad boy in the fridge for about a week. Um, and then after a week, they should be all nice and pickled and you should be able to eat them. So anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys like this video, definitely give it a like, a subscribe, and maybe even comment on this video. I'll see you next time.